everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and today's video is about my new jeans which I picked up and I wanted to talk to you about the significance of purchasing these jeans because it is more than just a pair of new jeans. These new jeans signifies to me my hard work that has gone into sculpting my body to what it is today. It also encompasses um, my self-love practices. If you have not watched my video, my self-love practices, I'll link it right here. I highly recommend that you watch it because I believe that love heals all blockages, regardless of which area of your life. If you love who you are, you nourish your body with the right foods that make you feel good, which then also links into my intuitive eating and I eat in accordance to season, price, um, basically just what makes me feel good and it's a truly beautiful thing. I also make loving choices for myself in regards to my mental state by meditating. That's why I have released um, my meditation series on my channel. This is something that I'm truly passionate about. And in regards to my my vision boards, I have pictures of what I want to look like. Um, I don't have a set weight that I want to be, but I know because I, I don't, I haven't weighed myself in ages. I've chucked out my scales. I made a video about that probably like over a year and a half ago. Um, the last time I got weighed was not by my request. It was when I was in hospital. So I roughly know my weight, but I can also tell my weight by how I'm feeling. Fitness is another thing that I have fallen in love with this year um, and it's also attributed to my very motivating and inspirational partner, Peter, um, you can find him on Instagram, um, Peter Led, and he also has a YouTube channel where he posts workout videos to help lift your butt and he's absolutely amazing. Anyway, he's a vegan athlete so he has inspired me um, into reformer Pilates. This was something that I thought was like a little pussy thing because I never liked mat Pilates. I never got results. I just thought it was crap. But reformer Pilates is amazing. It uses your own body weight to help sculpt you and I've never had so much pain and burning in a workout. And when you feel the burn, then that's when you know you're onto truly something, onto something truly beautiful. Um, I've also fallen in love with yoga. You guys would know that. I've got a membership, an unlimited membership. So I pay a certain amount a week and I can go as many times as I want. And I absolutely love it. So they're my two main fitness things. I have over this past six months fallen in love with, um, I have so many things that I love and I find it hard to structure it in. But my two main at the moment are reformer Pilates and yoga. I also love swimming. I love cycling, but if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have a bit of anxiety over cycling, which I haven't gotten over yet. I haven't made that a priority for me, but I need to soon because the mini triathlon is in September. Um, and running is something that I used to love like years ago and I want to find the love for it again. So basically it's like a holistic approach. I've basically made loving choices holistically in regards to my health and wellness and the culminating effect is when you go to put your jeans on, which I purchased last year. They were new jeans. I went to jean, just jeans or jeans West. I can never remember. Anyway, so I got two pairs of jeans for like $109 last year and I was like, okay, this is cool, blah, blah, blah. Like some of them were a bit tight on me. And last week when my mom was visiting, I was like, because it's now winter, I'm like wearing a jumper. You can't really see because I'm, I don't have the best setup right now because I'm house sitting. So I'm not actually at my house. I'm just sitting in front of this beautiful big window, um, which is facing the street. So anyone walking past is like, what is this woman doing? But anyway, um, so yeah, I tried on my jeans and I was like, they're baggy. Like they're baggy and I've never had skinny jeans before. Um, actually, I have had them, but I've always covered them up and, you know, kind of use them like as a jegging kind of look and wear like a really long top. I now have two pairs of high waisted, super skinny jeans, one in black and the other one in like a lighter denim, which I never thought I'd ever be able to wear a lighter denim. I put them on and I'm like looking at myself in the change room. I've got a snapshot here. You can check it out. 
I was sending these pictures to my mum because she lit I literally just dropped her off to the airport and I found the jeans. So we had spent like days trying to find it. But you would have seen that if you've been following my journey on my new channel, Melanie Kate Love, because um, I made a couple of vlogs with mum. And we were looking for jeans and it just didn't happen. But so I put these jeans on and I was like, I know that what I'm doing with each and every day, because I'm continuing to better myself, I'm making better choices in regards to my holistic health and wellness. And it's, it's like, I get so emotional when I was, when I was trying on these jeans and I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, Mel, look, look at your butt. Look, you don't have like these crazy thighs anymore. And I just feel beautiful. I felt beautiful before, but I'm feeling, I feel like I look even more beautiful and I feel healthy and I feel strong. I've never felt strong before. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. So these jeans signify my hard work. And I hope that wherever you are on your journey, that you are you know, continuing to make better choices. I watched um, a video, remember I talked about Salt? She was, um, she made the intro to my, my channel, Raw Nourishment, like over a year and a half ago. She made me a response video. And she said in the response video um, that she, she knows what she needs to do, but she always gets overwhelmed and she doesn't know what to do. So obviously she's not the only one. And I felt like that. And I do feel like that sometimes too, but we just need to start somewhere, you know, just make better choices today. So what's, think of this, what's one thing I can do today that's going to make me a better person. And for me today, it's um, my video that I released called um, four ways to kickstart your day. So after this video, I will be going to the beach to get into mother nature, breathing in some fresh life energy force into my lungs, feeling the natural sun rays penetrate into my skin. Oh, there's so many things you can do. You have to start small. Don't get overwhelmed by the big picture and be like, right, I wanna fit in these jeans by that time. That stuff does not work. It does not work. And I'm living proof of that because I'm like the queen of getting overwhelmed. I never, I never said to myself, by this time next year, I want to be in a size down from my previous jeans. I never said that. I just knew that by eating good, it made me feel good. By meditating, I felt good. By exercising, I felt good. And if you join all of those things together over time, you have created this beautiful world, which we call the better choices world or the self-love practices world. So start today, do one thing right now. I want you to write like an affirmation in your phone or like in your calendar. I want you to schedule time to work on you today. You need to make yourself a priority. Nobody gives a rat's butt about you, but you. You know, you have loving people around you, obviously, great. But they're looking out for themselves too. So you need to do something today that's gonna benefit you. We just gotta start small. The culminating effect is amazing. It's it's like overwhelming emotional roller coaster that you go on because sometimes you're like, I don't want to exercise. Like it's winter at the moment. I'm like, my whole exercise. Actually, oh, no, I'll just talk about this video. <laughs> so my whole exercise routine was like perfect in summer and autumn. And now that it's winter, I don't exercise in the morning. So now do it in the evenings, like five times a week, um, which is amazing. I exercise five times a week. Oh! I never thought I would ever be that person. And you're probably thinking, oh Mel, you're just talking rubbish. I'll never get there. I thought like that too, but when you start changing your mindset and you just know that, oh, if you exercise this, blah, blah, blah. I exercise to decrease my stress levels because I'm stressed at the moment because I'm trying to start my own business and I've got to get all of these deadlines done because I'm in this entrepreneur program. And if I don't meet these deadlines, I'm gonna get kicked off the program. I'm gonna lose the funding and blah, 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 blah. Anyway. <sighs> I have a lot going on at the moment. So that's why I'm all about holistic health and wellness. And that's why I exercise, it makes me feel good. And in turn, it gives me a good body and it decreases my stress levels and it makes me a better partner and a better daughter and a better, better sister and blah, 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 blah. You know, it, everything is connected. Everything is connected. Love heals all blockages. I have not a doubt within my mind that not one of you are not going to make a better... No, what am I trying to say? I have not a doubt of my mind 
that you are going to achieve your goals. You're going to get there. I know you're going to get there. You know why? Because I'm here to motivate you when you fall down. And I watch my videos back whenever I'm feeling like crap and I'm like, oh, what would Mel say? Maybe that should be our new hashtag. What would Mel say? What would Mel do? What would Mel say? I'm telling you this. Up your self-love practices. Make yourself a priority. It's going to help you on your journey to become the greatest version. Anyways, do you want to see my little fashion show? <laughs> I did a photo shoot, kind of video shoot at the other day with Peter at the beach. Oh my God, I'm like training him to be like an Insta husband. You know those, you probably would have seen it. To take different shots and I'm like, okay, now honey, now get the camera and I want you to pan all the way down to my jeans. Great, now I'm gonna turn around and then we'll do a butt shot. Now we're gonna do the same thing. So I hope you enjoy this little combination of my, um, my new jeans, my new jeans. They make me feel so good, like feel so good. Do you wanna see? I don't know if you'll be able to see them in this light. Oh yeah, let me just move back. Can you see these? Look at this. Look at this! I'm getting that line that sticks in. Do you wanna see my butt? I dance a lot, guys. Anyway, this video is getting to 11 minutes and 20 seconds, which is a very long time. Anyway, I just wanted to give you some inspo and just like, you know, you can do it. I believe in you. You are amazing. You are beautiful. You are absolutely incredible. And I am proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Wherever you are in your journey, I am proud of where you are now. You are exactly where you are now because that is where you need to be. If it's something amazing or if it's something not too good, there are lessons that you need to know so you can learn from them and then move forward, make better choices. I love my channel. I love it so much. I love having this platform to be able to inspire you because I'm like, I basically create, have created a channel that I wish I had when I was going through my transition, whether it was to become vegan, raw vegan, high carb, low fat vegan. I've been 80, 10, 10 vegan. Now I'm in Mel the Intuitive Vegan. And now I'm Mel, the self-love motivator, nurturer. I just want to empower you to make better choices. That's essentially it. So I hope this has given you the kickstart for you to make just one better choice today. And then I want you to repeat the same thing tomorrow. And if you lose the willpower or this is not going good for you, watch my self-love series, watch my videos. I'm here for you 24 seven, my loves. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your continued support. I think that's it. I love you. And I will see you next episode. Bye, my loves. Have a good day. You are amazing, you are incredible, you are constantly surrounded by love.